Hey, what is going on, all my broskies? How are you guys doing today? My name is the Bro Man. Welcome back to another episode of the Dortmund Manager Mode series. Now we're gonna start off this episode right away with a game, and uh, you'll see right at the start here. I even show kickoff because look who comes through once again. Marco Royce just breaks through the team, and we score right away. So really awesome goal there at the start. But I just want to say thank you guys for 300 subscribers uh, before you know I get into really start talking about the video and stuff so I really appreciate uh, you guys getting me a 300 subscribers uh, I'm having a lot of fun making FIFA videos and uh, you know they do take a lot of time but uh, I have fun doing it and that's what's that's what's important here so I appreciate you guys supporting the videos and you know you know subscribing I mean it means a lot to me and uh, yeah so hopefully we can continue this momentum and uh, you know maybe hit a thousand in the next two days no just kidding <laughs> you know I just uh, yeah, I just appreciate it, guys. So, anyways, now I want to talk a little bit about the video. So, as you see here, we get a free kick. And also keep in mind that their player got a yellow card from that. And then Marco Royce decides to snipe it. Yes, of course he does. If you guys, uh, if you guys have ever been in that situation, like a free kick from there, always, like, aim right beside the wall, kind of right at the keeper, and just hammer it. Because you can really score some nice goals there. And here's just a little clip of, you know, these guys were just getting reckless. They were attacking my players constantly. I was like, what the heck are you doing? Just just, just stop. Just cut it out now. Just stop. And here it is. They're basically first chance of the game. Luckily, my keeper, Courtois, is in form for that. And, uh, yeah, here's just them not chilling out again. And this is Peter Pekarik getting his second yellow of the game. So now they are a man short. And that is basically like... How are you supposed to come back now? You're a man short. What are you going to do? How do you come back from this? You're playing us, Borussia Dortmund. How are you supposed to come back? He can't. You just can't do it. So we continue to destroy. And now that they're missing a defender, it became a lot easier to find, you know, holes in the defense and counterattack. So Marco Royce runs down the line, links up with Immobile. These two guys are pretty much carrying this team. It's mainly Royce, but, you know, Immobile scores quite a few goals as well. And, uh, you know... You know, those guys just freaking destroy everyone. And here's the corner kick. If you guys remember from last episode, if it's not broken, don't fix it. So just keep crossing it to Aubameyang. And once again, he gets his head on that and uh, puts it in the far side. And that's how the game ends up ending. 4 nothing or 4 nil, if you want me to be English right now. <laughs> you know, that's how the game ends up ending. So another big win for us. That is the fifth straight win. We are in form right now. And I decided for this next game here that I would switch up all three of my center mids because they were all a bit tired. So I gave them all a break, put three completely new center mids on for this next game here, which is against Wolfsburg, who is uh, two positions below us right now. Right now, at this point, we are in third place. And this next game was against the fifth place Wolfsburg team. Now, right off the start, not really right off the start, but pretty early on in the game, Royce running through, cutting back and forth through the defenders and, like... Like he always does, just puts it in behind the keeper. 17 goals this season for Marco Royce. He's just going absolutely ham for this team. And yeah, that's pretty sick. And here is just a stupid ass computer bullcrap play thing. How am I supposed to defend this? Look at this. You can't take the ball. They're just passing around. This is a long play. I'm showing the whole thing. They're passing around. You know, I'm just defending. I'm not diving in. I'm not pulling my defenders out. And they somehow managed to cut through and trash, who I'm pretty sure is a defender, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure he's a defender. Just went and snipes at top corner. And here my uh, my software ended up crashing. So I realized that, paused it, and you can see they're winning 2 nothing. I mean 2-1, so I just show this uh, replay twice. Yes, they cross it in, and Matt Hummels gets out-jumped by some dude. That's how we conceded. So now we're going into the second half, 2-1 down. I'm like, crap, this cannot be happening. We cannot be losing right now. And uh, here you see somehow we concede a penalty. And just like EA normally would, they they don't show the replay because there's no explanation to how it happened. They, they couldn't show a replay because how the heck did that happen? Mario Gomez steps up and just misses, hits the crossbar. So I was pretty happy when that happened. Now we sent a nice little through ball, we're trying to attack because, you know, we can't 
we can't lose. We want to keep on this winning form that we have, and uh, we just want to keep on winning. So I don't stop. Mobile takes a really nice touch, volleys it, but it's kind of right at the keeper and a little bit weak. And here you see I make a triple sub, Ramos, Kagawa, and Gundogan. I all sub on because, you know, that was basically the only chance I was getting with those people on. And look at this. I sub on those three new players. Royce hits the post. And we don't stop there. Kagawa cuts in, takes a shot. Looks like it was supposed to be going in, but, you know, it just curves wide at the very end there. And we keep on, uh, kept on pressing. Unfortunately, we couldn't really get anything. And then here in the 90th minute, trash again. I don't understand this. Look at this. I have, like, four guys on him. And they're all bodying him, slide tackling. He just keeps running it through and decides to just score. And there's a nice little close-up of how that all happened there at the end and unfortunately that is where the uh, the game ends because that was the 90th minute so we didn't have a chance to uh, you know play anymore and try to come back and that just sucked that's the stupid two goals by trash the right back and I'm pretty sure he is a right back if I'm if I'm wrong I'm sorry but I, I'm just pretty sure he is so here I'm like yeah you know what I was rocking there just was not working out so I decided to do some lineup changes again. I put on the guys that I'm good, that are good, and for some reason Julian Vigel, like the rook, the rookie, with 65 overall, does better. And now I decided to sim the next match against Werder Bremen because they're not a very threatening team in the league right now, and I figured we could win. So I simulate the match right off the bat. Putting Kagawa back on was a great idea because he decides to score for us immediately which puts us in the lead and you know I was hoping we could hang on you don't want to lose a couple in a row especially when you're high up in the table because it can really affect you and now that we've actually brought ourselves way up in the table I wanted to make sure that we could hold on to this win and my team was doing an absolutely awesome job here until Bender decides to get a red card and I'm like crap they might score because we're man down but we hang in there and win one nothing against Werder Bremen which is awesome now here is transfer season starting again, and we get an offer from PSG, 88.5 million for Marco Royce. And I said, okay, okay, I see you. If you want Marco Royce, you can give me 988 million, and then I'll give him to you. So I write that as an offer, which they unfortunately said was too much later on. And this guy was causing a bunch of media drama with Dortmund, so I'm like, okay, just get out of my team. And I decided to look for some new strikers, so here you guys see I look at Jovetic who is a really strong young striker and I also decided to look at Remy which for some reason I cut out and I also list Bender on the market because he was not very happy with the club and I saw my transfer wage was very low so I decided to go to my finances and edit it up a little bit so that I would have you know a good amount of wage budget but I also didn't like I had like two million wage budget which I did not need I had a really high wage budget so I lowered that to a reasonable price and then yeah so we end up selling that random drama dude and we get another offer for Royce for 63 and a half from Real Madrid. I'm like, are you kidding me? So I just reject that offer completely. I'm not even messing around because who knows? They might pull 900 million out of their ass. And then Bender, you see, very unhappy morale because I haven't been playing him. Frankly, I'd rather play Vigil anyways because Vigil seems to be doing better than you. So I counter offer 14 million for Liverpool. They end up accepting that, so Bender is on his way out of Dortmund. We get an extra 14 and a half million, and that's where this episode ends, guys. So in the next episode, we will continue to slay the league.